No one seems to doubt that tornadoes, hurricanes or earthquakes are indeed very devastating disasters that have the potential to cause tremendous damage to life and property. Year after year, recurring events continue to convince us of this, and we all know the images from the USA, Turkey or the Caribbean. But can you imagine that there are far worse disasters against which these are child's play? Disasters that have the potential to destroy human civilization or mankind itself. If you don't, then after this video, you will look at these things a little differently. Today, we are going to take a look at the first of the most devastating disasters that could destroy humanity. Friends, welcome to a new video on the Top Topics channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. Ready? Let's do it. In this episode, we will begin with the least likely but absolutely devastating catastrophe, which however will not come from within our planet Earth, but from the outer space. So heads up to the sky and let's see what it's all about. We all know that we can easily see stars in the night sky. It is an impressive and often romantic spectacle, so who would have thought that from one of those beautiful stars we see, a catastrophe could come that is capable of destroying human civilization? Yet it does. The vast majority of the stars in the universe are similar to our sun, and we are in known danger from them, as they are relatively small stars. Leaving aside the sun itself, which will one day swallow our planet, given our proximity to it, but not before 4 billion years. The problem is stars, that there are times of the size, mass and luminosity of our sun, which are called red or blue giants. These giant stars have very short lifetimes of only a few million years. By comparison, our sun has an estimated lifetime of around 10 billion years. Such a giant star burns up all its fuel very quickly, then collapses and explodes as a supernova. Which can lead to the so-called gamma ray burst. This flare can propagate thousands of light years across the universe. Since it is a relatively narrow beam of this flash that is sent out into two directions by the exploding star, it would be very unlucky indeed given the size of interstellar space if it was directed exactly towards the ground. However, it can happen. One of the most famous candidates for a gamma burst producer is the star Eta Carinae, which is located in the constellation of the boat Gil and is about 7500 light years away from Earth. Eta Carinae is a very massive star that is going through an extinction phase and is also known for its giant explosions and burst of matter. Another possible candidate is WR-104, a binary star that is about 8000 light years away and is located in the constellations of Sagittarius. Betelgeuse is also sometimes mentioned, which is the largest red supergiant star just 450 light years from Earth. The effects of such a flash on life on Earth will be catastrophic. First of all, the ozone layer would be destroyed. This would cause increased exposure to harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun, with serious consequences for life on Earth and the rapid extinction of animals, including humans. Another accompanying effect would be a strong radiation and ionization of the atmosphere, resulting in increased production of nitrates and other reactive elements. This would have a very negative impact on all living organisms, including humans. A strong gamma ray burst could also cause a failure and damage to electromagnetic equipment, including communications networks, satellites, and other electronic systems. Since our civilization is vitally dependent on electronic systems, I do not need to go on to say what this would mean in the resulting disaster. The impact of a gamma ray burst on the Earth's atmosphere would also have far-reaching effects on the planet's climate. This could lead to global climate change and disruption and subsequent collapse of ecosystems. Quite a scary thought, what you say. If you are asking if gamma ray bursts have occurred on our planet in the past, the answer is yes, they have. The major or division in Silurian extinction 450 million years ago was most likely caused by a powerful gamma ray burst. 
Estimates suggest that approximately up to 60% of the total phytoplankton biomass in the Ordovician oceans was wiped out. A major blow to a then promising species that took millions of years to recover from. But let's not panic right away. It is important to remember that strong gamma ray bursts are rare and their effects on Earth depends on their distance from us. If the gamma ray burst is in a distant galaxy, its impact on us would be limited. Still, an interesting scientific phenomenon and research into these events is important to better understand the universe and potential threats that could affect Earth in the future because even though the chances of dangerous gamma ray bursts are slim to none, they are not completely zero. Friends, that's it for this video. If you are a fan of this similar themes, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Just take this video as a little taste of what you can look forward to next. Thanks a lot and have a great time!